The Samba. So. Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Catherine and we are starting our 100 baby challenge. I am so stoked for this. Ever since I found out that this is a challenge that exists, I have decided I just have to. And not only that, we are also doing it just a little bit differently because our matriarch, uh, unlike most, is a vampire. Um, so her name is, I think it's Moira. Yeah, we named her Moira, Moira Succubi, which I thought was just absolutely appropriate. Um, we are uh, gonna start looking for some uh, dads for our, our vampire. Um, she is immortal, which means that uh, it's gonna, well, assuming she doesn't die of natural causes, natural causes to a vampire being the end of their vampire energy, I'm told. She's gonna be our matriarch for a while here. Um, for a little bit on her creation, I would recommend that you go check out our, our my unboxing video for vampires. Uh, that is a playlist that we have, and so that's gonna be linked nearby. Ooh, you, stop walking. Oh, you're just a teen. Okay. Um, so, ooh, there goes Lilith. We are gonna start by making a bunch of friends and uh, we're gonna get some baby daddies going and once we have that, maybe we'll kill them <laughs> because we're vampires and we can do that. <laughs> I have never played a vampire before, so this is my first time and I'm gonna be having to figure out both how to balance vampire needs um, which probably aren't too bad, and how to have uh, little toddler babies at the same time. Ooh, was that a lightning flash? The other thing I should make clear pretty early on is that um, I just got seasons, and with that, um, that means that we're gonna have some weather issues that we might have to contend with as well. So. We'll see how that one goes. I haven't quite figured out how the the weather for seasons works yet. So we'll 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 get to that one. Alright, start getting to be a little bit flirty here. That would be lovely, please. Oh, you're still a teen, so you don't really matter. Oh boy. We are gonna populate this whole world with so many freaking vampire babies. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it after that, but I was thinking, um, so I was watching uh, James Turner's uh, Vampire's Let's Play from like three years ago, right? And um, as I was watching this, I was realizing he has a couple of like vampire hunters in there. He's got like Buffy Summers and something from True Blood, which I don't watch, but whatever. So I was thinking, once I populate this whole world with vampires, um, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should create a vampire hunter and then go around trying to slay all the vampire babies. Not babies, they'd be adults at that point. At least, it, I, if I'm doing it right, they would be adults at that point. Speaking of which, I need to meet some actual adults who can impregnate my succubi. That would be lovely. Oh no, don't walk away, I need you. Okay, bye bye. I guess I'll go bug Caleb then. Caleb is going to be one lucky vampire because uh, since he is a vampire, uh, it doesn't make sense to kill him uh, and drink his blood afterwards. So um, good for him, I guess. Discuss neighborhood changes, get to know, ask if single. I think he is. I think he just lives with his sister, Lilith. I'm pretty sure they're not together. What is this? Okay, so you're going to be a thing I'm going to want to harvest. Um, part of the 100 baby challenge means we don't have a lot in terms of money. So right now we're sitting at about 200 monies, which is not normal for me. I'm used to having so much money. Um, but that's fine. Uh, we're gonna have to learn how to get that. Ask if single. Which means I think it might be beneficial for us to spend some time in some other neighborhoods. Um, because if we can, then, um, we might be able to get some other plants that'd be... Oh, he is single. Awesome. That would be particularly helpful for us. 
Alright, I want to see if he's going to accept our flirt. And... Yeah, it looks like he's taken it. Awesome. So let's keep up with that a little bit. Compliment appearance, because why not? Oh yeah, he is, he is feeling it for sure. Okay, we're working on this. We are definitely working on this. I think when I signed up to do the 100 baby challenge, I did not recall exactly how long it was gonna take for me to get these people to like me. But that's fine. We could do this. Aw, he's swooning. Oh no. See, I feel like he didn't like that, but we definitely just had a plus sign on our flirt. Alright, well, Caleb decided to go back inside, so we're gonna make another friend real quick. Because the more friends that we make, the more guys we'll have to choose from as time goes by. And this one's probably a mortal. So, this one's probably going to get his blood sucked a whole bunch. You know what else I need to do? I need to figure out how to buy an umbrella. <laughs> I have not done that yet or figured that out how to do that yet, at least given the, the seasons. Everybody just keeps having them, but I have no idea where they're getting them from. So, you know, we'll see about that, I suppose. All right, so her fun is getting low, and woohoo is a lot of fun. So I really want to land one of these guys. You think we could get him in bed tonight? Today? It's 2 a.m. Nothing good ever happens after 2 a.m. I feel like that was an episode of How I Met Your Mother. So we came here to see Caleb. And that's definitely not what we did, but that's okay. Um, ooh, I can ask for flirty vampiric training. How ridiculous is that? So we kind of did a tour of this lot in my unboxing video for um, the build by, basically. The build by, basically. Uh, for the build by on this one and the house genuinely confused me because I don't know why there's a children's room but there is so you know um, it's just the two of them just brother and sister here um, smooth recovery it's getting really close to dawn which means that very soon um, we're gonna have some trouble with the daylight. And I'm not 100% sure how to fix that, but I'm sure we will figure that one out. Okay, when can I just kiss him? I don't, I don't know why I can do all of these things except kiss him. Blow a kiss, I guess. I don't know. I'm flirty. He's flirty. Oh shoot, we have the Harvest Fest going on. Uh, most of that's not going to get done, I think. Unless... How do I do that? Spend some time to reflect and be thankful. Who knows what tomorrow will bring. Be discuss what you can be thankful for with another sim. Okay. Well, that's got to... It's gotta be something, right? Be thankful, I suppose. Alright, and then we're gonna do our freaking first kiss, I think. Oh yeah! It's time. I 
I did not realize that her nose looked like this when I made it. <laughs> Which I suppose is fine, but whatever. What are you going to do, right? Okay. We are going to... I know I just saw the... Try for baby! Yeah! Not that I'm meaning to be extra creepy, but... We're just gonna... We're just gonna follow her around. Um, I don't know where she's gonna lead us. I'm guessing she's gonna lead us up to his bed, but... Oh look, there's a gnome! I think that's part of Harvest Fest is the gnome. Okay, so this one's his. Aw, oh, see, his jammies look awful, but mine are adorable. Aw, oh, Moira is about to woo. -hoo. Wait, does that mean that Caleb's not about to woo -hoo for the first time? That must mean he's wooed before. Okay, then you are gonna come and take a pregnancy test. And then we're going to fool around with the gnomes, but a different kind of fool around, not this kind of fool around. We're going to do the Harvest Festival thingy with the gnomes because for some reason Moira seems to really like this event and that's okay. Yeah! Take a pregnancy test. Because if this doesn't work, we're going to have to do it again. <laughs> what you got, what you got, what you got? Yes! Woo, 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 woo. That was quick. <laughs> uh, oh, I heard you became friends with Caleb. Isn't he awesome? Appease the gnome. Give coffee. I don't know. Is that the only thing I have to do? It's just a one thing? I wonder. I didn't even see if Caleb was excited about this. Let's run home. Actually, you know what I want to do is I want to check on this plant. Harvest all. Because we need seeds. Harvest all. Okay. I don't think the sun's out. Oh look, it's another gnome. Okay, well, it just dipped out, but it left some seeds. That's what it looks like. So what did I get? Got the wolf's bane, got the onion. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Let's run home and let's get these suckers planted, shall we? I'm wondering at what time the sun starts to kick in, unless, actually, the weather is cloudy right now. So, we're probably actually not going to have to worry about sun for a little while. That's going to be cool. Oh man, it's so strange because she is so much darker than he is. Oh, both of them have such weird noses. Like, his is all hooked, and hers is just plump. we are pretty much going to be done with Vlad for a little bit because I want to listen to my understanding is S pop is the right one. Oh, lullabies. Also, I did not mean for there to be a whoops mailbox in my living room. There we are much better. So she's going to listen to lullabies for a bit. What's this? Oh, thirst. Eek. So she needs to eat somebody. Or do I have plasma? No, I do not have plasma. 
that's a thing I might need to look into. Send a thank you card. Mm. Okay, we don't have a lot of money, but one of the um, requirements for Harvest Festival is to buy this thing, which is too bad because I do not have the funds for this. Put up decorations. Oh, oh wow, how did... Okay. That didn't really do a whole lot. It added some flags, but mostly just tripped out my computer. <laughs> cool. Oh, hey, look, it's flat. But I can't, I can't drink you because you're not a, but I can, ooh. So uh, for those of you who are watching my rags to riches, looks like a uh, ivory mod here is gonna be our first like mortal victim. Uh oh, spaghettios. Come all the way over there. Let's not do that. Let's come over here. We are going to introduce ourselves to this gentleman because he's gonna be a daddy eventually. Actually, I think he already is a daddy um, in Sulani. <laughs> he is a long way from home and I think he's gonna regret that. Okay, so just as a quick reminder, she has. Not got the fertile trait, so we definitely gotta No. No, you can't you can't walk away. I gotta I gotta get my plasma. Sorry, no. Mm -mm. So as I was saying, um, she right now is family oriented and our lot has um, the ley line trait, I think it has actually dark ley line. Oh boy, you are getting old, Yuki Bear. Okay, that's satisfying our thirst. So, we can go home because there's some stuff that we wanna do here. Oh look, Caleb's come to visit. Hi, honey. I'm just, you know, picking on some morals first. Oh, so when I was crafting this house, I got really close to running out of money. It was exactly 19,000. Well, 19,000 and change. And that meant that I had one bedroom, which is very, very small. There's not even a dresser in here, but I don't really need the bed for anything other than woohoo. So I really could just replace that whole room with a dresser and just do the woohoo in the closet but I did manage to get myself a pretty well-decorated bathroom, I think. Oops, wrong button. Pretty well-decorated bathroom. Um, so that's not too bad. That's, that's a good start. This one's gonna be my baby room here, and I just, I got the spooky stuff pack, and I adore the wallpaper so much. Tell me that's not the cutest thing. Mm, love it. Oh, I don't want to get married. Nope, I'm not about getting married. Not unless I would turn around and kill them right away, but... Oh, hey! I got some money out of that. That's awesome. So there was an extra two grand right there. Cool. And that does a lot for us, because one of the other things that I'm planning on doing with this series is that I want to also be building the house out uh, to hold more more babies. Um, my goal is to just stay on this lot the entire time and just keep building on it. And I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do that, but that's okay. We'll get that one figured out when, when we get to that point. You know what I should do, because it's nighttime now, is we should go to a bar. Because there's always a bar. Wait, there isn't a bar in this pack. Oh my God. I've never seen a pack so far that didn't have a bar with it. Like, I thought that was the running gag, is that every single one of them had a bar. Ah, that's cool. So, I chose the bar in Willow Creek, uh, largely because there are supposed to be some plants around here that I want. Namely, not snapdragons, namely roses, which would be this thing. And I don't know when they're going to 
spawn. But that's okay, we can chill out here for a little while. Make, nope, I don't wanna make a drink, I wanna order a drink. Order, order favorite drink. And then we'll get to know some people. All right, are you single? Oh, he's kind of cute, actually. I like his hair. No, this is good. We're meeting a lot of dudes. This is going to give us lots of potential baby daddies. And we can do it now before we have babies at home. I don't know what the rule is about whether you are allowed to um, leave the lot when there's children, but I, holy cow, there's a lot more than I thought there would be. Uh, if you're allowed to leave the lot once there's actually children, um, but I don't really care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure, figure this out as we go. Why not? We're just gonna face check the bush. Which I realize if you don't know the context, that doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I used to play League of Legends, like a lot of League of Legends, and I played a lot of support characters. I was mainly support, mage, or, um, you know, a, a DPS or something like that, right? Uh, Soda was was my goddess. Like, I adored everything about her. She was, I adored her. All right, so we have had another gentleman show up on the scene, and his name is Blaze. And uh, we're gonna, where did he go? Oh, here he goes. He's this cutie right here with the nose ring, chatting up some other girls, lots of other girls. Oh, this is weird. Okay, look at this. We have Ivory Maud in ridiculous eye makeup, right? Can you see that? And then we have Ivory Maud, the young adult. Which, by the way, she was part of my Rags to Riches series that I have effectively given up. Um, largely because I kind of feel like I cheated and I don't really get to keep going once you cheat. But also because I was kind of bored of where we were going with her. So, that playlist is somewhere else, and I think I did an excellent job plugging it by saying that I got bored with it, because that's exactly how you're supposed to do that, right? I feel like I just need to stay here until about 5 a.m., because at 5 a.m., a lot of the flowers, like, reset. Actually, you know what? I can totally drink from other people. Shh. Do I need a deep drink? No. Let's just keep going. I feel like we just every so often need to just go to a bar and we'll find like 10 dads. Because look at this. I've met like seven guys so far. That would all be great once it's time for me to, uh, to make them daddies. Oh dear. I feel like we're just gonna be saying all kinds of things that are like borderline inappropriate. I'm wondering if maybe I need to put an 18 plus warning on this series. <laughs> my channel does not have an 18 plus warning. I typically don't have an 18 plus warning. All of my videos are explicitly not for children, but I've also bleeped out cuss words, so <laughs> you know. So one of the big things that I want to do for the end of this episode, I'm wondering if we'll have enough time to get through. No, so we're not going to be able to finish the trimester. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep meeting people and flirting with people and all of that junk um, until I, uh... ooh, they're all going to hate me if I bite her in the middle of it. So I'm going to add to group and then I'm going to go here because if I can get her away from the rest of these guys before I bite her, I don't think I'll suffer the negative consequence of that, which will be cool. I think the place closes at like four or something. Wait, why? I don't know, but everybody's gone, so I guess it's okay if I do that with the 
guy who has a bag on his head, I suppose? I mean, I meant to do it with ivory, but... Okay, then. Yep, so they all hate me now. Which, fine, let them. Okay, it's 5 a.m., which means we should have some flowers. Ha ha ha! Look at that! Flowers! Ooh, and a digging spot? Ah, a new child of the night. As an elder vampire, it is my honor to welcome you to our family. Your new thirst for plasma takes some getting used to. Remember, thirst can be uncomfortable, but it will not kill you. Here are some plasma packs to keep you going and just stay out of the sun. Well, I'm going to need to harvest a couple of things first. And then I'll stay out of the sun. Besides, it's a cloudy day. This can't possibly be any worse than, uh, well, at least it's supposed to be a cloudy day. Can't possibly be worse than when I was at home, right? Did you just skip my apples? No, you got different apples. That's fine. Then we're gonna dig. And then we're gonna go home. So we did pretty well for our first episode, I think. Um, we have got a good chunk of money pretty early on, so that was really lucky. Um, we also, um, got our plants going, we got our first pregnancy going. We are going to be making just hand over fist money with these roses, so I'm super stoked. So let's get those planted real quick. I'm going to call the episode here. Um, we're going to, uh, pick up right about here, and then in our next episode we're going to get a couple of babies, hopefully two of them, and, uh, take it from there. All in all, I think this has been a really rewarding time so far. Without further ado, thank you so, so much for joining me. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so you can catch our future episodes, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!